Hello everyone, Jenna Phillips from Oh Sit, or Sexy Bear as you would remember me. And I'm joined with my sister, Lauren Shimke, aka The Line Pixie. And the reason why I'm filming this video is because I wanted to clarify a few things. I just watched the episode which was like so exciting and so much fun. I've been waiting for six months to watch it and my dad and my sister drove down to watch it with me and it was so, so awesome. And I want to just clarify a couple things. The reason why I got as upset as I did when I didn't win, <laughs> I was crying pretty hard, <laughs> is because I, the whole reason why I went on the show in the first place was to raise awareness for my sister. She has Lyme disease, and I was wanting to raise the money to pay for her treatments, which are very expensive, and insurance doesn't cover it. So I was on a mission. I was super committed and so focused to making that whole thing happen. And when I didn't win, I felt like I let her down. And it was like the worst feeling ever. But you didn't let me down. Thank you showed you. me so much love and strength and compassion for my disease. I love you. I love you too. And something else that they didn't show, which was like so powerful and awesome because I was so upset. I was on my knees. Everybody in, in the audience knew why I was on the show. Like they knew what I was fighting for. And so they all started to say, number 12, number 12. <laughs> she only knows that because I've told the story like five times. <laughs> but I could just visualize it, the 500 people, the whole crowd, knowing about Lyme disease, spreading Lyme disease awareness, you know, sharing my story, and everybody's rooting for me and my sister. It was really awesome. So when I stood with my arms up straight in the air, it's because everybody was saying <laughs> number 12, like at the top of their lungs. It was so awesome. And then when I jumped down and then got back up onto the track, and she did like a little interview, and she's like, why are you so upset? Why are you crying? And I told her why. I was like, I feel like I let my sister down. But then she's like, you know what? Like, it's totally fine. There's another way. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And then I looked into the camera and I was like, pigeon. I call her pigeon. I was like, little pigeon, I love you. You're a warrior. I'm so proud of you. You're so committed. And on top of it, like she's taking care of her health. Like she's not allowing this to define her. She's giving herself an opportunity to be healthy in the same way that I have not let diabetes define me. I do everything in my power to give myself an opportunity to really make myself as healthy as I can and be a beacon of inspiration and possibility for people. And that's what she's doing, which is amazing. So I'm so proud of you and I love you so much. Thank and, you. And we're doing this video especially because uh, May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month. That's right. So and he's got to be rocking their Lyme green. We're wearing, I'm wearing green. <laughs> she's rocking an I Am hat and yep, the Lyme green color. I am possible and I am healing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get through this that's no right. matter what. So we're super committed to her having success with this, and I'm super committed to continuing to be a, uh, a leader for all of you guys and just showing you that whatever it is you want to accomplish, it's all possible. Just make sure that you're mindful of your language and how you speak about yourself. And no do matter it what, out, yeah, do it out of love and never stop fighting. And one day at a time, you know, just, you know, put your foot down and go forward and don't look back. It's all about healing and moving forward. Yeah, what she said. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I love you all. And the producers at OSIT, you guys are awesome. I had so much fun on that show. It Thank was you. awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. See you guys later. <laughs>